I didn't really have any doodle ideas for today. So I was looking back in this book where I've done some doodles over the past few days. And I ran across this one that I like. I just love doing swirlies, you know, just just because. <laughs> I just like swirlies. So, I thought we could do some little swirlies in here. So, I'm going to take my 6B pencil and my kneaded eraser. And just make some sort of swirly things like that. And then like that. And then just keep filling in with swirlies going in different directions. Change directions now and then. And don't worry if they're weird and kind of, you know, flat and misshapen because that's why we do it in pencil so that we can fix them and, you know, make them a prettier shape and make them more round. Big one here, and there, and um, like that. That okay. That looks that looks swirly enough to me. Okay. <coughs> now I'll go in and clean these up. <coughs> Get except for this one. <laughs> this one looks like a growth. <laughs> it's just not really flowing. All right, let's um, maybe do that. <laughs> there, that's better. Okay, now I can go in and just kind of reshape these so that they are more round and pleasing. This okay. young lady is orange. That is yellow ochre. It's orange. It's not orange. Okay, we're having a major disagreement over the color of that Walking Dead billboard. I told him grab the yellow one. There's no yellow, it's orange. Well, it's not, it's yellow ochre. All right, anyway, uh, reshaping. Just kind of taking my pencil and going in a little bit darker. Like that. And these, these little uh, swirlies are something that I do kind of often. It's just one of the few shapes that I feel like I can draw halfway decent. And I enjoy doing them. So there's not a lot of um, uh, stress to get them just right. It's kind of like I think you get a muscle memory after a while. And when you practice enough and draw something over and over, it's like your hand remembers how to do it. So it's a lot easier. And that's kind of how I feel or where I am with these. It just, <clears throat> it's not too difficult. Okay. There. Now I've got my um, pencil lines. I can go in with a pen and. This, let's use the Stedler Pigment Liner 0.8. <laughs> I have to hold <laughs> my eraser, even though I'm not going to erase. 
Don't judge. It's just what I do. It's my pacifier. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to do like this. shape that one a little bit. And anything that is misshapen in ink, you know, I'm going to go back and make my lines, make some of them thicker, and then I can fix my shapes. I'm going to do that. Okay. Oh, that looks nice. I like that. Okay. Get rid of some of these lines. I didn't use my other, you know, sometimes go in with the softer lead, which is harder to erase. I always reverse those, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, I didn't do that this time. I just didn't feel the need. So this kneaded eraser will get rid of most of my lines. Oh, and I just smudged. Oh, <laughs> no, it was pencil marks in my eraser. I really need, when your kneaded eraser starts to get dark like this, you really need to replace it. I just, I think I have another one somewhere. I just haven't bothered to do that. Okay, now, just do the usual, go in and clean them up and make them thicker or whatever. So that's what I'm going to do. Instead of my 8, I'm going to use my 5, my point, point 0.5. It's a little bit thinner because this is small. Once you have your lines filled in and your circles or your swirls rounded out, you're done. Or you can go in with a finer pen, like a point two, and kind of clean up some of your edges. And you know what? Really, the main reason I do this is for pictures. 
because we need to take a picture, you know, and like post it on Instagram or something. Some of the little fuzzy edges tend to show. So that's why I do this. There's our little swirly vine all finished. And I really like that one. That turned out well. Easy to do. Just, you know, make your swirls in pencil and then correct them a little darker in pencil and then just keep correcting with the pen and eventually you'll get them shaped nicely. So, super simple to do. Y'all give this a try. Maybe we'll be back tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> I'm uh, totally not doing any of the prompts, but, um, you know, having fun just doing my own thing. So, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. The end.